All right, guys, we're going to look at the types of circuits now. So last time we went over schematics, this time we're just going to look at the basics. And so um, there's two types. There are series circuits and there are parallel circuits. So series circuits have a single pathway for current to flow. Series circuits have a single pathway for current to flow. And this is very basic. Everything's in one line. And so the little note, if you want to put in parentheses or quotes next to it, I call these crappy Christmas lights. What happens when one light goes out on crappy Christmas lights? They all go out. That's a series circuit. So in a series circuit, everything's in one line. So I have power source, I have a wire coming off, and let's say I put three lights on it. Three lights. One, two, three all right so i have three lights on one circuit it's a series circuit series crappy christmas lights so so what's going to happen if if this light goes out electricity can no longer flow across here and so if one goes out they all go out that's pretty simple it's a series circuit the other type is a parallel circuit and so it gets its name from the math word parallel. A parallel circuit has multiple lines where power can go through. So just for fun's sake, I'm going to put a switch on this guy. So it's a closed switch, meaning the electricity is on. So I'm going to make three lines. And so just like the last one, I'm going to make three light bulbs on this one. But each of these is going to be on a parallel or separate line and actually on this last one I'm gonna put two just for fun so again on this circuit we have an on off switch that is currently turned on or closed we have a power source and we have a light bulb a light bulb and then two light bulbs on the last line and so what happens here in this parallel circuit that makes it so much nicer than a series circuit uh, is that if this light bulb goes out, electricity can no longer go across this entire thing. However, electricity can still readily be available for the other two lines. And so if this one light goes out, the other ones stay on. Now, in case of these two light bulbs up top, if this one were to go out, the way it's wired here, and now there are more advanced ways to wire this, but the way it's wired here, if this one goes out, this one would also go out. But each line is, each parallel line has access to the electricity on its own. And so just because one bulb on a different line goes out doesn't mean the other lines go out. All right. Um, and if you will, to go back to your home, for instance, um, usually it kind of has both incorporated. So let's say the breaker flips for your kitchen because you plugged in too many crock pots. And so the breaker flips and maybe all the outlets in your kitchen go off. Well, the rest of your house stays on. All of those things in your kitchen are wired together versus the whole thing is into chunks, if you will. And so there's a bunch of series all connected together into a parallel, right? And so that's kind of how that works. And to give you a definition, since I didn't give you one yet, a parallel circuit is multiple branches or pathways parallel circuit has multiple branches or pathways for current to flow or good Christmas lights. If one goes out, the rest stay on. Those are good Christmas lights. So that is um, the basics of how circuits are drawn. So if you will, just consider all those symbols we went over last time and you just plug those in on the line. Uh, so what your assignment is going to be, your next assignment will be to uh, label a diagram and then draw one of your own. Um, and there's not always just one answer, there's different ways we can wire a house, if you will. Um, so there'll be a couple that are just identify the parts and then a couple that one or two there, you draw them. So that is it.